All right, I want to thank y'all for tuning the channel today. Today we have another product that we're going to do a, a quick review on in a test. I know a lot of you, you know, and even me, I've done airbags in the past. Airbags have worked okay. You know, you've got to do the built-in compressor. You're hooking up, you got to air them up. You know, you're unhooking, you got to deflate them and all those things. Um, and I've always seen like work trucks and stuff like that. They've had these things on them called Timberance, right? Never really paid much attention to it or thought about doing it on my personal truck. So today I want to test it. I want to see how these Timberance look. I know they hold up. I mean, I've seen them work on F450s with, with the, you know, CM beds on them and work beds and stuff like that with tons of weight on them. So I'm not really worried about their durability. I'm more worried about how much squat am I going to prevent by bolting a set of these on, right? And so what we're going to do today is we're going to get to measure the measurements on this F250. It is a trimmer, but it has, because it's a trimmer, it has the F350 suspension and axle in the rear. So whatever the drop is on this truck with the weight on it, that's about 2,200 to 2,500 of pin weight. You're, it's going to be the same drop on an F350 or F250 um, if it's a single rear wheel. So we want to test today how much sag we're going to have when we put the weight of this camper and then how much sag we have after we bolt these timbrins on. And just so you know, this is what it looks like. It's the Timberin SES kit. Um, and you know, one of the things I really like about it, you know, you get airbags, you gotta take the, you know, the overloads off, you gotta bolt all this up, pull, put the bolt to the spring, all that stuff. You know, and, and that's fine. And I put the airbags on that have the side bracket that come off and we've bent those before, you know, cause you hit bumps and got a lot of weight and you're off to the side. So, um, and that's a pretty simple technology. I mean, just, you're just replacing a bump stop. I mean, and it takes a few minutes to do. 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet. And as much as I, you know, do trade out trucks and go from different things, um, it's gonna be really nice to be able to unbolt these, bolt them right back on and go again. And also every time you unhook your camper and hook your camper up, when you're pulling into a campground, having to air up, air down, all that stuff, it's just another step. So if this simplifies it for me, I'm game. So let's go ahead and get the stock measurements. Let's get the weight of this camper on there and let's see what it is. Now I do have this a little bit further away. I'm gonna move it in a little bit closer just cause I want y'all to see the truck drop when we add the weight. Again, remember that's 2,300 to 2,500 pounds of pin weight. Our front measurement today with no weight on it, 42 in the front. And we're sitting at roughly 44 in the rear. Okay, so let's add the weight to see what it does. Alright, so we've got the weight on it, about the 2,400 pounds of weight. Um, we'll measure the front, it's probably still going to be right at 42, which it is. We're going to check the back. So we're exactly 40 inches at the back right now. So we had exactly 4 inches of squat for a big fifth wheel camper toy hauler. So basically if you have a one ton that's single rear wheel, trimmer or an F-250 with a high capacity axle and you have the overload. You can tell because the hubcaps are deep and you'll also have the overloads on the back. And that's how you know that you have the one ton rear end. Um, so right now we're two inches lower in the back stock, which is okay. You know, and if you decide, let me grab this real quick, that you're gonna put a leveling kit on. And let's say you go with an inch or this is an inch and a half, which I plan on using. Um, we've got to figure out a way to get that up, right? Um, two inches of squat, I would say looking at that, probably the max you're going to want to put on that truck, you know, for your headlights and all of those things. And another reason that I really like these is on the new scales, on the new Super Duties, this one doesn't have it because it's a Lariat, but the limited I have on order will, these are not going to interfere with the sensors on the rear. And that's pretty cool because the sensors are actually attached to the top of the leaf spring. And so since these are inbound on the frame, they should miss all the sensors and the linkage. 
So your, your, your reading on your scale may not be 100% accurate, but it's not gonna affect with the system, the headlight pointing and all of those things. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack this thing back up. We're gonna bolt these timberings on and let's see how much uh, we can reduce the sag on this truck. Okay, once you get both of these assembled, we've got the spacers in both of them. We're gonna get the weight off the truck. We'll jack it up and uh, we'll go ahead and get these mounted. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do down here, we're gonna go ahead and this one out and I'm gonna get my other hand to get that in and then we'll resume the video. Okay, so kind of want to give you a side view of what that looks like and just so you know, on the um, King Ranches and up, the scale, in, or if you have a Lariat with the scales, the sensor's gonna come out and it comes over here with a rod that goes to the front. Um, so that's completely out of the way for that from what I can tell. Okay, so we've got the weight added back to it right now. We're completely off the legs of the trailer. We had 40 earlier. We are at 42 right now. So if you wanted to know how much less squat you're gonna have with the timber ends on your truck, two inches. I'll take that any day. 15 minute install. I don't have to air up and air down bags. And I mean, it just, it works. So anyway, video helped you. Please hit that like and subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Thanks again.